Welcome to SkySiv. This is going to be a quick onboarding video about the SkySiv Connection Design Module. The SkySiv Connection Design Module focuses on steel connections and can be used in a standalone state or integrated with Structural 3D, where you can directly, impl directly import the parent and child members as well as forces directly. Before starting a connection design, select one of the available design codes. Add as many assemblies as you want using the Add Connection Assembly button. Changing the category will change what type of connection you want to design. Make sure to select what type of connection as well, shear connections or moment connection. When you're ready to start, make sure to pick the parent side of the member, so if it's the flange or the web, and then click on the, the connection. To start the design, click on the pencil, Add project details and client notes consistent with other projects throughout the SkySiv suite. You can also change the design factors from the default to be as conservative or as aggressive with, you, with your design. When adjusting the connection, you can select the parent member and the child member for your connection by either typing in the properties or importing them from the section database. Depending on which type of connection selected, adjust the size and properties of the welds and bolts used. When ready to adjust your connection details, click the connection button. This will bring up a prompt with all of the required inputs you need to go through. So simply go through the top to bottom uh, fields and make sure to edit the dimensions as necessary. Throughout your connection editing process, click on the render button to refresh the 3D rendering in the model space. In the standalone version, you will need to manually input the design forces. These forces would, would be factored from your previous analysis. To do so, just click into the field and type in the forces. You'll see the local axis is identified for the parent and child member here. Let's take a look at the integrated version of the connection design module. After completing the modeling and solving process in Structure 3D for a model, you can directly integrate the steel connection design module. The main thing to note, however, is that whichever case you are viewing in the results window is what will be imported since the connection design module only considers a single force case. So make sure you're using the correct case, whether that be the envelope forces or other. So in this case, we're showing the 1.4D or one type of load combination. If I wanted to design this frame um, for the envelope absolute max, we'd make sure that that would be selected and shown here. To start the design, Go over to the design button, hit start new code, and click on the connection design button. At this point, the workflow is the exact same as the um, standalone version of the model. So from here, the workflow is almost exactly the same. You would add the assembly, click on the type of connection you'd want. The only difference would be you need to identify the parent member and the child member since it's coming from your live model. So in this case, the parent member would be one of the columns, and the child member would be the beam. Once you type in those member IDs, the uh, solver will recognize that connection based on the, the members that you picked or that joint that it's identified, and this will be the connection that you'll be designing. The main difference you'll see between the integrated version and the standalone version of the connection module is that when you use the integrated version, it will render your connection as it is modeled in Structural 3D. And the second thing being, uh, all the forces from Structural 3D that you had um, gotten from the analysis will be automatically inputted into all of the required fields. The workflow is still the same. You still need to go to the connection portion. You still need to um, adjust your connection details, but um, the forces will automatically be uh, applied here. So to check your design or generate a design, click on check design. 
And you can see here it easily spits out um, Unity ratios and design checks for all of the different uh, design checks required by uh, the governing code that you're using. You can also export your model as a CAD file. You can also export your model as a structural drawing and you can export it as a report with detailed hand calculations. So just like the other hand calculation reports that we offer, um, the section references on the left and then all of the hand calculations and results are on the, the middle and the right corresponding. And you can download this PDF as well. Make sure to check out our software documentation for more in-depth information about the connection module, Structure 3D, and the rest of the platform. And we hope to see you soon.